morning, friends, and happy Sunday. Tomorrow, Brian and I will be married 18 years. We've been together for 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 years, 22 years, something like that. And but we've been married for 18 years tomorrow. Uh, so today, he and I are going to kind of go out and maybe see some Christmas stuff. We have reservations to go see dinner, to go see dinner, to go have dinner. Um, but we are going to head south of Huntsville and go to a town called Coleman um, because they have a huge display of the German pyramid and. If you guys don't know what the German pyramid is, look it up because I don't know how to explain it except for watch Christmas Vacation and that is the little German like round roundies thingy that um, Ed, Cousin Eddie, uh, knocks over and Clark tries to fix but he can't. So <laughs> that's about the best explanation I can give you on what this little German pyramid thing is. But the difference in this German pyramid is that this one's 30 feet tall. This is a huge, huge replica of a German uh, pyramid. Normally they're small, you can sit them like on your, co your coffee table, dining table, whatever the case may be during Christmas time. But uh, yeah, this one's like 30 feet tall. So we are headed to Coleman, Alabama, which I said is about an hour and 20 minutes or so away from here, south. And then uh, we're gonna come back and we have reservations to eat at Connor's Steakhouse. And uh, then we're gonna make our way back home. But yeah, it should be a fun day. So I thought I'd take you guys along because it is Christmassy and that's what I do. I take you guys along and I share things with you guys. So let's uh, head on out and go see this ginormous German pyramid. I might have to. So there it is. Wow. It's actually very, very, uh, it is moving too. It's actually really, really big. That's so cool and all this stuff is moving. No. There's people there right now, so I'll wait. But this looks like a little, like, Kris Kringle village or something, like market that they have, but there's nothing here. The lights are on in the booths. You see that? That's a birthday. Yeah, I see that. And all the lights are on in their booths, but there's nothing there. Huh. It says Santa's village over there. It's kind of weird. I have no idea how to pronounce that but it's a traditional German Christmas decoration dating back to the Middle Ages, known in English as a Christmas pyramid. This is a symbol that brings joy to all during the winter season, the W word, became popular in the Ore Mountains of Germany and quickly spread across Europe before being brought to America by German immigrants in the 1700s. Coleman Pyramid brings honor to our rich German heritage and is a beautiful addition to our community. Dedicated to I guess it's a, there's a really he heavy German heritage here in, in Coleman. Oh, that's yeah. Mr. Coleman right there. Oh, that's yeah, Mr. That's Coleman? Him. Oh. Founded 1830-something. Oh, wow. And this has been here since November 2019. What? Right. Yeah. Well, they two take years. it down. Well, yeah, but I'm saying this is how they... they every, yeah, two years. years. That's so cool. It's so cute looking. I love it. Yeah, so this is like a little... Uh, little area we have in our town called Twinkenham and they have like a Publix and a UPS store, a cookie fix, Broken Egg Cafe, Taco Mama. This is called Pants Store. The Pants Store. And then we're gonna go down here and eat at the Cajun something. Cajun Kitchen or something instead of going to Connor's because we had a change of plans. We have some friends coming in to see us. So we're gonna go here and eat at the Cajun Steamer. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So we got some smoked tuna dip. And then um, we had to get cucumbers because obviously I can't have the bread, but yeah, that tuna dip is delicious. And you say that you like it on the cucumber. Yes, it's Which very is a good. Combination it's, you never yeah, it's a, of. yeah, definitely a different combination. But yeah, I definitely like it on the cucumber. Have you tried it yet? You need to try it on a cucumber. Just seriously, try it on a cucumber. Please try it on a cucumber. It's really, really good. And put like salt and pepper on it too. It's delicious. It really is good. Oh, you don't like it? Oh. Oh, I see. I do. It's really good. Delicious. All right, so we just got home and we had this little 
snack by our door. I don't know if I can eat it, but I don't even know what it is, but it's from our neighbor across the street. We'll have to try it in just a few minutes. But um, I wanted to show you too what we got at the Cajun place. Um, we were so full that we just um, ate what we could and then brought the rest home. But I got the blackened chicken with some sausage and some mashed potatoes. And it's definitely not a gluten-friendly uh, meal because of the soy-ish gravy that they kind of put on it. But it was so good. And then Brian actually got a redfish meal. Um, and he really, really liked it as well. Um, but we brought it all to come home um, after we ate it because we were full from our like cucumbers and the tuna and everything. And then um, we actually have some friends <laughs> coming over. So... A uh, friend where we used to live in Georgia, he's one of the um, younger kids that lived in the subdivision. Um, and he played he played volleyball and stuff with us and they lived kind of across the street. But anyway, we saw him a couple of weeks ago at the wedding that we were at and he was in the wedding. But his girlfriend lives here in Huntsville and he's here um, this weekend visiting with her and he texted us this morning, wanted to know if we wanted to get together. So they're coming over here at 4.30 this evening. So Brian and I, we changed our plans to go eat at Connor's Steakhouse and decided to go eat at the Cajun Steakhouse instead because we knew it was quicker and we wanted to get back here because when we left this morning like I didn't make up the bed or anything like that I did the dishes and put the dishes on the counter so I need to put those away I need to make up the bed and just kind of straighten things up around the house a little bit and then make it presentable for when they come over to visit for a few minutes so um so that's what I'm going to do now is make up the bed good morning friends and happy Monday it is actually cold outside. I don't have to have my air on today. I don't have any windows open because it's that cold. And when I say it's cold outside, it's like 29. <laughs> um, I think I don't know what it's supposed to warm up to today though. I think 45, I'm not sure. But um, by the end of the week, by Christmas day, it's supposed to be back to 70. So these are the little cold fronts that we always get, these little cold spells, couple of days of cold weather. Um, but I'm not complaining, I'm okay with it. I, I am, I'm enjoying the cold weather because then that means I can actually pull out some of my winter clothes and actually wear them, which is fabulous. I love it. I love being able to wear some of my winter clothes. Um, those of you who are in the south know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like two days ago it was 70 degrees, we had the air on. <laughs> Today it's gonna be high 45 and we get to wear winter clothes. So. Um, today is Monday. Today I have a hair appointment. I'm going to go get some of my roots done today, which is great because um, I have been dealing with some brassiness and it's driving me bananas. Um, I'm also going to run, if I have time, over to Lane Bryant because I really need to get some new bras and some panties. So we'll be bra and panty shopping today, ladies. Um, and then uh, I have dishes that are sitting here on the counter. These are the dishes that were from Saturday that I had to do yesterday morning because I filled up the dishwasher Saturday after everybody left, then I let that wash, you know, and then yesterday morning I emptied the dishwasher of all those and put more stuff in the dishwasher from, you know, from the party yesterday. <laughs> and then this is what I could not put in the dishwasher and this is what I, you know, hand washed yesterday and then just like left it sitting here on the counter and then Brian and I left for the day. So that's where it's been sitting. And then um, we came home last night yesterday afternoon after we went out to eat we were supposed to have friends that come over they didn't come over they they canceled and we're just gonna reschedule it for another time which is fine um, and then I had uh, an emergency phone call from my cousin let me let me get myself situated here um, an emergency phone call from my cousin in Missouri and um, I needed to help her out in a situation, so I went ahead and and did that. Um, so I helped her out, and then um, uh, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, and then we came home, and after I took care of that situation, I 
came back home and Brian had told me that our guests weren't gonna come. So I'm like, okay, fan fantastic. Well, you know, whatever, not fantastic, but okay, bummer, whatever. But great, now I can take off my makeup. That's what I meant by fantastic. So fantastic, <laughs> yay, I can take off my makeup, pull my hair back, get my jammies on, um, eat the rest of my leftovers that we had from the Cajun steamer. And then we went upstairs, ate leftovers, and watch TV. That's what I did. Um, so I really didn't get to finish, you know, I didn't really film a lot yesterday, just that like German thing. And then um, a little bit from lunch yesterday. Uh, but that's it. Um, so yeah, that's what the plan is for today. I actually already made up the bed and I know today is Monday and normally I change the sheets on the bed, but I forgot and I wouldn't have made it the bed. And I'm like, oh crap, today's Monday. I forgot to do all that. Um, but I will be doing a washing towels and wash rags and stuff today. So I will be doing all of that today as well, which I'm going to put in um, right after I get out of the shower. I'm going to wash all of that stuff. And yeah, I mean, I don't really have a plan for this week at all. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to share an empties video with you guys because I have a whole bunch of empties that I want to share. Um, there was a couple of others like small little like sit down videos that I kind of wanted to do. So I think I'm going to do those. I may film a couple today. I may film a couple tomorrow and then just kind of have those up throughout the week. But for the most part, I don't have anything planned this week, which is which is very odd for me, but also very cool and relaxing because now I can just relax and not stress about anything. Um, this is Christmas week. Today is Brian, our, our anniversary. Today is Brian and I's anniversary. Did I say Brian and I? Brian and mine. Brian, our anniversary? <laughs> uh, what is the proper etiquette for that one? Brian and I's, is it I's? No, it can't be Brian and me. Anyway, nonetheless, today's our anniversary. 18 years married. We've been together for 21 years, but we've been married for 18 years today. So that's really nice. Um, but anyway, so what I was saying was Saturday, this is Christmas week, and Saturday we'll be at my mom's house for Christmas dinner as long as my mom is feeling okay. Um, if she's not, then I'll just then I'll just have it here again with my mom and dad and my aunt and uncle. But that's it, nobody else. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this week. Um, and, uh, we'll, we'll go get my hair done here shortly and, uh, we'll go over to Lane Bryant and I'll share with you guys all the stuff that I get there. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Such a, like, uh, you know, a, a non-exciting week, which is fine with me. You know, maybe I'll make some cookies this week. My bake, bake some cookies, uh, which would be fun. Ooh, that looks so good. Maybe I'll go to Starbucks too before I go. Oh yeah, maybe I should get ready now. I'm not taking a shower or anything before I go get my hair done because um, they don't really like you to wash your hair before you get your hair done, so I'm not gonna do all that. But I am gonna go ahead and um, brush my teeth, wash my face, put my makeup on, and get myself dressed and ready. And I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks before I head over to the salon. So yeah, let's, let's do all that. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to show you what I'm actually wearing today really quickly. So. I did say earlier that I was going to take a shower and put all the towels in the wash machine, which I didn't do a shower today because I said I wasn't going to take a shower. And then I said I was going to take a shower and I messed up, so I didn't. So anyway, nonetheless, so this has like been such a comfy like outfit to wear, which is like a pair of leggings, a quick pair of like tennis shoes, and just like a big puffy like longish sweater. I prefer the sweaters to be just a little bit longer so they cover up this front part. But when it's black, you can really never tell that it's got like a there. But anyway, nonetheless, these are just so comfortable to wear. And I just love, like, this is like the perfect, like, going out really quick, get your hair done, run into a store type of outfit. Because it's just comfortable. And this is like a really heavy sweater. And I love this, like, pattern. It's like a quilty pattern. And it's just so cute. And I just pop, um, paired it with some of my cute, like, just tennis shoes. I think I got these at, like, Target, which are perfect for, like, an outfit like this. I had them on with socks. And I'm like, uh, no, socks looks really tacky with this. But I think it's just really comfortable. So I'm going to head out and grab my Starbucks. And then I'm going to go to the hair salon and uh, start my day. 
Alrighty, so I am downtown now and I'm actually really hoping that the line for Starbucks isn't super long. It's 8.20, uh, my appointment's at nine o'clock. So I mean, I got plenty of time. It's just five minutes down the road, if that. Um, I just would really like for this line not to be super, super long, but we will find out. I'm getting ready to pull in there now. So like say how many cars are pulling in before me? One, and he seems to be going pretty far up. And, oh yeah, it's not bad at all. Ooh, gosh, what, look at this. Like, no line, what? Oh my God, like nobody? Okay, is there something wrong here? Oh, there's a homeless person. Oh, no, there's nothing wrong. We're gonna, we're gonna order. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Good morning, thanks for choosing Starbucks. This is Lauren. Can I get you started off with any breakfast? Uh, yes, good morning, Lauren. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. Hey, yeah. um, I would just like a venti white mocha, please. Uh, caramel drizzle, caramel syrup, hot, and then um, whipped cream on the top, please. You got it, anything else? Nope, that's it. Four, or 7.47, I'll see you in a second. Okay, thanks. It's cold outside and there's a homeless guy over here. I'm so sad. Um, that is what I had to do yesterday is I had to help my cousin, she's homeless. I had to help her get into a shelter. Well, I tried getting into her, getting her into a shelter last night um, and all the shelters were full. And I literally called the police department, the non-emergency line, of course. Um, there in the town that she lives in, to see where they where homeless people can go when it's like cold outside and, and stuff like that and she literally said there's no place for them to go and that the shelter that's in that little area there or the area there is is full so and she was legitly she was telling the truth the dispatch police officer whoever it was i spoke to <coughs> excuse me was telling the truth because um i when i called the shelter too they said that they were full so anyway so nonetheless i um helped her get into a a like a super eight hotel sorry super eight hotel and uh it made us feel good last night me and brian knowing that she's not sleeping in her car and it's freezing and that she wasn't freezing and that she was in a hotel so um that just made us feel good and uh, i hope that i hope that they're able to stay there as long as they can today. I mean, cause I was only able to pay for like one night, you know? Um, but let me pay for my stuff. Yeah, the homeless guy is like right there on the sidewalk. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but he's holding up a sign that says help. Oh, I just drove by, just bless him. That's all that you can do. And I know some of them like choose to live that way. And then some of them don't. Um, I don't know much, I don't know if my cousin, she doesn't choose to live that way. I think that they got booted. I don't know. I don't know really know much about the situation. All I know is that she has never asked me to help in any situation in their, um, uh, their, my, my mom, so it's my mom's side of the family. So it was my mom's sister's daughter and she is the same age as me. She'll actually be 49 in <sighs> the end of January. I think the 27th or something like that, the 29th. Anyway, just a sad, sad situation. And um, just, you know, keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Um, if I could pay for a whole month for her to stay in a place, you know, I would. But that's just, that's just not going to happen. So, um, but anyway, I just trust that she was in a good place last night. She was warm. She was safe. She was able to take a shower and clean up. I did try to get them into shelters and, um, the shelters were full up. So I might actually keep trying to see if I can find a shelter for them. Like I'm going to continue to call and see if they will take them. Uh, so we, we shall see because it definitely does not, um, I don't want them to be in their car, you know, and it's freezing in Missouri, St. Louis area. And um, if I would 
I'm gonna try to see if I can get them at a shelter. I guess that's what I'm gonna say. But my heart was like all night last night, like tossed and turned, tossed and turned, just thinking about her, just making sure that they're okay, that they're safe and all that good stuff. But just thankful that I was able to help just a little bit that I was able to help. So, and then my mom helped them out too, I think like two weeks ago and kept them in a like in a hotel room which is the same hotel and I actually called the hotel as well just to verify everything just to make sure that they did check in that they were there and everything was legit um so it was it was all legit so um but anyway yeah just keep them in your thoughts and prayers and if you guys have any ideas of um where like so if you guys are in the Festus area Festus Missouri area um Jefferson County area um that's where she lives and if you guys are if you guys are in that area at all and you guys have any sort of like connections to where people who are homeless can go um please reach out to me and let me know because then I can actually help them get into a shelter as well and you know with the approaching holiday coming up it just breaks my heart because where are they going to go where are they going to be are they going to have food um so anyway so that's that was my that was my story that's what happened last night and so um but again i was just thankful that i was able to help out and put them in a place where they were were warm and safe okay so there's my there's my little story i just wanted to tell you guys and share that with you guys because again it was just a i was kind of sad but anyway nonetheless all right i'm gonna go get my hair done now all righty so my hair is done three hours later <laughs> Oh my gosh, but it feels so good. It just looks good. It's nice and fresh. Everything is good. I'm happy about it. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with her. She's amazing. Oh man. And now I'm just going to grab some food and I'm actually going to go home. I was going to go to like Lane Bryant, but I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. I just want to go home. So that is what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, I'm starving because I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. So yeah, I think I'm just going to grab Rosie's and then head home. So I will see you guys there. Alrighty, so I'm just now getting home and it's one o'clock and I left my salon at 12 o'clock. Got in line for Rosie's and I'm just now getting home. So that line was really long at Rosie's. Um, by the way, I did get my hair trimmed a little bit so it's a little bit like healthier on the ends but no like cut, but it is just trimmed. So I'm, and I'm happy about it because it just, it feels healthier and it just looks better. Um, so what I got at Rosie's was I got um, a chicken taco and some chips and salsa because it just actually comes with it anyway so this is what i'm going to have for lunch i'm going to watch a video hopefully somebody has a vlogmas up that i can watch and uh yeah i'm going to sit here and have my lunch and then um tomorrow i'm actually going to go see a movie with my aunt we were supposed to go see um house of gucci like a couple weeks ago um but we're going to go actually see it tomorrow so my aunt is going to come into town and we're going to go see that tomorrow so i'm super excited but i think after this i'm going to put those dishes away and uh then i'm going to make some cookies so yeah we'll just make some, i think just peanut butter cookies today but i am going to look for another recipe for like wedding cakes um because i want to see if i can make some gluten-free wedding cakes because i love those cookies um but i think uh, for now i'm just gonna eat and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right, so last night, my when we got home, we had this by our door, and my neighbor made this. It's like a chocolate with, like, peppermint candy canes and stuff crushed on top with, like, white chocolate. I mean, it, it looks so good, and it smells so good. And I took a bite of it, and I'm like, oh, my God. This is delicious. It is so good. And Brian didn't care for it. <clears throat> Because he's not a big candy cane pepperminty guy. So he didn't like care for it. So. But I thought it was delicious. And so I was eating them last night. And I'm like oh. These are so good. It just doesn't have. It has like um. You can definitely taste the chocolate in them. Um, and then you get like obviously like a little crunch of that peppermint. And it's just like oh, so so good. Mm-hmm delicious okay um i'm gonna go put the towels in the washing machine put these away turn the tv on <clears throat> and i did look up the recipe for like wedding cakes super simple basically all i do is just substitute the white flour for the gluten-free flour so that's fantastic but i'm not going to do those today i'll probably do those on wednesday but today i'm going to make peanut butter cookies because i love me a good peanut butter cookie well 
peanut butter blossoms with the chocolate, the little kiss on the top. So <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna do. So, mm, I can sit there and eat those all day though. Oh my God, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Alrighty, so I made my peanut butter cookies already. I already just kind of whipped them all up, but I was on uh, the phone with Courtney doing FaceTime and, um, and Parker. And so I just whipped them all up right here. Um, so Parker, so I'm going to Disney at the end of January and uh, my niece Courtney and Parker are actually coming with. So we were just kind of discussing all of the stuff that, you know, she needs to bring. She thinks she's gonna rent a stroller when she gets there. And they have not, not a stroller from Disney, but like you could, there's a stroller rental place that they will like bring it to your hotel room and you can like rent it for the week. So that's what she's gonna do because I don't think we're gonna have room in my car <laughs> to um, get, to bring a stroller. So um, yeah, so that's what she's gonna do. And I'm super excited about them coming. Um, who is this from? Oh, Chris K. Oh, my mother-in-law. Okay, hold on a second, y'all. All right, so I have some packages from my mother-in-law here. So I'm gonna open this and I'm going to, um, what is this? Gift shop. This is to Brian and Angie Cato. Oh, let me see what this is. I don't know. Somebody ordered us something. Hold on. Alrighty, well somebody sent us a bamboo charcuterie and cheese board set and I don't know who it's from because it doesn't say on the paper. So I'm just kind of curious because I don't know who it's from. Um, anyway, so then I'm gonna open up this stuff. This is from Brian's mom. Alrighty, so this is the stuff that she sent us. Obviously, Chicago Bulls stuff. Brian and I will just share these or more than likely he'll just wear them. Um, but we can share them too. It's not like, it's not like a big deal. We'll both be able to wear these. Um, she sent some pistachios, some nerds, some sour patch kids, orange sticks, a cute little, I love him. He's like a vintage snowman. He's adorable. And then she knows my love of socks. So she got me some Coca-Cola socks, which is super, super cute. And then a cute little ornament. I'll stick him upstairs and it says, Hey, Watch where you put that stick, buddy. That's awesome, super cute, love it. And then a Christmas card, which I'll open up here in just a second. It's probably a Christmas card or anniversary card, one of the two. But anyway, nonetheless, so yeah, that's a, I, I don't know who sent the charcuterie. We'll have to find out. It might have been um, his Aunt Linda, so I'll have to find out. But anyway, nice stuff, yay. Alrighty, so these ones look really, really good too, but they didn't turn out like my other ones did. So the the dough was a little like, I don't know, geek? I don't know how to call, say it. I mean, it's not, I don't know. They're fine. I mean, they're, they're gonna turn out just fine. I'm just gonna let them sit here for a few minutes. And um, then I'm gonna take them off of there and just kind of let them cool. But yeah, I mean, they're fine. No, no nothing bad at all. But um, they didn't, they don't look like the ones I did the other day. That's what I'm kind of basically saying. But nonetheless, they still taste good. The dough tastes good. So I'm just gonna let them sit there for a second and then I'm gonna put them on a cooling rack. I also found out where this came from. This came from Brian's aunt, which is his mom's sister. They just kind of sent everything at the same time, but this was just separately, it wasn't in the box. So I'm gonna open this up because I wanna see what it looks like. I love charcuterie boards and she knows that I love doing charcuterie. So, oh, it's got cheese and steak knives. Ooh, I mean, cheese with cheese knives and forks, not steak knives. <laughs> So this is the charcuterie board. It has this little drawer that pulls in and out and it comes with all of these. I love those. Look at those little forks. And it comes with all of this like little knife set to, to pick up all the stuff on the charcuterie. And it's really nice because this has like a flat surface here and then all the way around you guys can actually see. So you can like set crackers around here so nothing falls off. Ooh, I like that. I like it a lot. It's beautiful. She knows me well. Alrighty, so I kind of like knew like these weren't cooking right. So I mean, look how mushy they are. Like they're like falling apart mush. And I had them in there for like almost 12 minutes. So, all right, so these ones are a fail. So I'll have to do a different batch maybe tomorrow because I'm not doing any more now. Mmm, <laughs> see that tastes so good. But, hmm, I don't know what I did wrong. Oh well. Oh well, epic fail. Well, 
that is a bummer on my cookies because I was looking so forward to just kind of snacking on those later on. Um, but anyway, I'm actually going to go ahead and fold up some clothes here and then I'm going to finish my uh, Christmas d decor home tour and I'm going to start editing that and get that up so that's up for this week. So yeah, now it's time to fold these clothes and get my bed cleared off so I can do the rest of my video, my hair. <laughs> So disappointed about my peanut butter cookies. That's such a disappointment. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way. And oh, this time of year we come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow. Yes, I am on my way. Alrighty, so I just finished up the last little bit of my Christmas home tour. And now I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog for today. That way I can get both of these edited and both of these in queue and ready for your viewing. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and yesterday. Um, and I will see you guys in my vlog.